All right, hey everybody. So in this very quick short tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you build a master detail view using Swift UI. So you'll have seen this before, of course. Uh, think of it very much as you know a table that you would then select. Or you you tap on a row and it goes to a detail screen, and you can go back again. Uh, split view controller is another one that you'll have seen on the iPad and some of the larger iPhones. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'll just run what I've got just to show you. Basically, I've created a Swift UI, a new Swift UI application with just the default Hello World template that you see here. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is, of course, we have to say, OK, well, this is going to be some kind of navigation. So I need to wrap everything in a navigation view. And so all I need to do for that is just say it's a navigation view like so. Now, the next thing I want is I'm going to have like a table like view. Now, we're not going to be using any data sources or fancy coding for this. So I'm just going to hard code a list of text here for the uh, for the sake of the demonstration. So I'm just going to say it's a list. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just replicate this five times. All right. So let's just run what we have right now. We've added a navigation view for our list contents. And when we look at it over here in the application, you get very much like you're used to seeing. It's kind of a table view here that you can scroll. And we've got our five items. OK, so now we, we don't have anything we can click at this time. But we do have it in navigation. So the next thing we need to do is let's create our second view, our detail view. So I'm just going to say new file, Swift UI view. Go next. And I'm just going to call this one detail view. Keep it simple so you can see what's going on. And in this one, just to show it's loaded the view, I'm just going to change the text to say, this is the detail view. And that's all I'm going to do there. Very simple, very straightforward. Just need something different to show you that it's loaded. Let's go back to our content view. Now what we need to do is I'm going to go in. Normally, you would probably create a, a Swift UI view for each of these rows here, because you're probably going to have something a little more fancy than text. But what I'm going to do, again, just to show you in this video for the navigation purposes and how that works, I'm now going to create directly here a navigation link. Now, a navigation link expects some kind of destination. So I'm going to say the destination is going to be my new detail view. All right? That's all I'm going to do there. And I'm going to wrap this first item and only this first item so you can see the difference. Right, so just go over quickly again what we've done. I've taken this first item and I've wrapped it in this navigation link and I've said the destination is this detail view that we created. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and just run the application again. All right, so you'll notice straight away something different. We've got this familiar uh, arrow here that tells us, hey, clicking on this is going to take us somewhere. It's going to do something, right? We're used to seeing this with table views. Don't get it on the rest because they're not wrapped in this navigation link. So if I click on them, nothing happens. But if I click on Hello World, sure enough, it's going to go in, load my second, this is the detail view. And because it's all in a navigation view, I get my back button here as well. So I can just go back, right? So there you go. Very simple, very straightforward. As you can see, no storyboards, no silly segue code or prepare for segue that we used to have to do. Just a few lines of code and I've got this custom view loading here for my sort of my master detail view. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Just give you that quick answer because I'm sure some of you out there are struggling to figure out how do you do the simple things like that. So there you go. That's a master detail view in Swift UI. There'll be future videos, of course, going into much more detail, much more useful ways of doing this with data and everything else. But that's how you get the navigation view and the navigation link working. You know, if this has been helpful, be sure to, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, uh, go to compileswift.com. There's a podcast there as well and plenty of other tutorials. Check those out and I'll catch you in the next one.